Hey guys, so somebody named Charles sent me an email with a list of bullet points regarding learning how to code. Things that I've talked about in the past, but this is something that I think should be reiterated, repeated to drive the point home. Because when people are learning anything new, and coding is not unique in this regard, when people are learning things that are new, there's often a lot of fear, trepidation, the unknown, the new is kind of, uh, it's, it's anxiety provoking for people, especially career oriented choices. So let me just read off some of the bullet points here. Uh, stop watching the next course, stop with the tutorials, build something, anything. Your knowledge and confidence will skyrocket as you build real projects. That's my addition to that. Get used to spending time in your code editor and uh, build the habit. If you're learning to code, you're watching my videos, you've been thinking about it, you've been putzing around with tutorials here and there, just jump in, man. Just jump in. So what does that mean? You do your foundations, you do the basics, whether with my course or if you can find something else out there. And then once you have those foundations, a good course will give you the confidence to feel that you can move forward and actually do something for real. So when you understand, in terms of the web stack, you know your HTML5, your CSS3 fairly well so that you can build a responsive website, you're ready to go. Do you know everything? No, but you're ready to go. And then um, if you really want to maximize your ability to get work, I would learn a little bit of PHP so you can do some back-end coding, some CRUD. Again, if you don't know any of these things, this is what you need to learn. But once you have that, Maybe do one small, maybe two small little project tutorials. That's it. Stop. Now it's time to get into the real world and start getting real work. You'll learn so much more by building real projects for real people as opposed to walking through tutorials. Because what you're going to learn is that a big part of being a developer is interacting speaking with, communicating with the client, figuring out problems along the way. That's why I always teach best practices, foundational principles, because that, those skills and that knowledge is going to take you from not being a coder to being a coder that's very effective. And I'll close with this. The difference between the professional developers and the noobs or the difference between the advanced developers and the noobs or the intermediate level guys is the advanced developers have a very solid understanding of the fundamentals. They know how to communicate very well and uh, they uh, implement on time and, and are problem solvers. So at the end of the day, you get these skills by actually building real projects. You'll be amazed how much more educational it is actually work with people. You know, people will pay ten, twenty thousand dollars for a boot camp, partly because they see that the boot camps will get them into stage work. If you don't know what it is, stage work is just doing freebie work for some web development company or some development company. Guess what? You don't need to go to a boot camp to do that. Once you do your foundations, then you can go talk to local businesses, uh, reach out to friends or family, or go on one of those sites like an Upwork or something, and just say, listen, I'm going to do small project X, Y, or Z for free, and this is how you do your stash. You don't need to pay a boot camp ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. So there you go. That's how you get into it. If you wanna be a coder, you do your foundations, in my course, at least, you can get through that in a few weeks. And then you get out there and you start actually building projects for people. That's how you're going to learn. That's how I learned how to fight. When I wanted to learn how to box, I didn't make the mistake of spending two years hitting pads and doing drills. No. Once I had my basics done within a few weeks, just the basics, I got in a ring right away. And I would spar three, four times a week. And that's how you get good. One sparring session three rounds, full contact, is the equivalent of maybe six months of training in a gym, hitting pads, and so on. One job working on a small client project is going to be worth 10 tutorials. 
because you're not only going to be delivering a product, you're going to be learning problem-solving skills. You're going to be practicing the communication skills, etc., etc., etc. I hope that helps. Bye-bye. Hard life of the developer.